This is a listing of the basic doctrines of the non-Christian cult known as the Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, they teach that there is only one God who is in one person. They deny the Trinity. They deny that the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. They, they say he, he is just an, an active force. He's not alive. The Holy Spirit is God's impersonal active force at that. The Jehovah's Witnesses teach that the first created thing is Jesus, and that Jesus, being the first created thing, was used by Jehovah to create all other things. They further state that Jesus is Michael the Archangel, or that he used to be Michael the Archangel, who became a man, and since he's uh, returned to become an, uh, Michael the Archangel again, Jesus was only a perfect man. He was not God in flesh, according to the witnesses. Jesus did not rise from the dead physically. The witnesses teach this, and that, of course, makes a non-Christian cult right there. Not to mention that they deny the Trinity. At any rate, they teach that Jesus was raised not as a human creature, but as a spirit. They teach that Jesus was born again, and that Jesus did not die on a cross, but on a stake. Jesus began his invisible rule, according to the witnesses, over the earth in 1914. Also, Jesus' ransom sacrifice did not include Adam. Now, their church is the self-proclaimed prophet of God. They claim to be the only channel of God's truth. Only their church members will be saved. Good works are necessary for salvation. They teach that the soul ceases to exist after death. They teach that there is no hell and that there is no hell fire where the wicked are, are punished. They're just annihilated into non-existence. They also teach that only 144,000 Jehovah's Witnesses go to heaven and Jesus only died for the 144,000. They're the only ones who are born again. Now, furthermore, about the 144,000, they're the only ones who take communion as well. Now, they deny blood transfusions. They say that blood transfusions are sinful. They teach that the cross is a pagan symbol and should not be used at all. They teach that salvation is by faith and what you do. Of course, that's the same thing as just being saved by your works, and that's what they teach. They also teach that it is certainly possible to lose your salvation. And what would you expect with any group that teaches that your salvation is dependent upon your actions and your faithfulness? And of course, you can lose your salvation. If it's dependent upon Jesus alone, you can't lose it. They teach that the universe is billions of years old and that uh, each of the six creative days of God in Genesis 1 you know, day one, day two of the creation order, each one of those days was 7,000 years long. Therefore, man was created toward the end of the 42,000 years of Earth's preparation. They also refuse to vote. They will not salute the flag. They do not sing the star-spangled banner. They don't celebrate Christmas or birthdays. They are not allowed to serve in the armed forces. And they teach, of course, that, Jesus, excuse me, that Satan was entrusted with the obligation and was charged with the duty of overseeing the creation of the earth. Now, let me just say this. The non-Christian, excuse me, the Jehovah's Witnesses are a non-Christian religion. It denies the Trinity, denies the deity of Christ, denies salvation by grace through faith alone in Christ alone, and denies the physical resurrection of Christ. It is a non-Christian cult.